All right, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who teach well. Teach well. Much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. You brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. To you sincere men out there teaching, risking your lives. To you, I say shal uh, shalom and salutations. And you sincere aquathium, listening and learning. Um, this video is going to be titled, Don't Let These Babylonians Fool You Into Thinking We're All Equal. You know, I've been hearing that a lot. You know, we're all equal, you know, um, and we're not equal. You know, men and women are equal. You know, the, the, the Heavenly Father has set up nations. Um, just, you, you know, some some nations are beneath us, man. This is what it is. You know, when you look at the, the Hamitic nations, even when you go into um, Canaan, right? Uh, let me jump there real fast. Let's go to uh, Genesis, I think it's 15. Yep. Let's see, give me one second. Oh, no. No. This is it right here. <clears throat> um, Genesis 9. Yeah, it's a little bit farther down. Right here. Genesis 9 and 24. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. So when you're reading the story, after the flood, you know, Noah, he planted a vineyard. And, you know, he was drinking the wine from, from, the, from his vineyard. And he got drunk. He was naked in his tent. Right? Ham went in his tent, saw him naked. And um, this is what Noah said. So he knew what had, what his son was because he was he was probably drunk as hell. But he was like, you know, when I sober up, I'm gonna get his ass. Uh, he said, and, and Noah awoke from his wine, right? He sobered up and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, "Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren." You see, so <laughs> Canaan was cursed to be what a servant. That's a lower, a lower. Um, class citizen so to speak right he's not a lord so that shows you that they're the canaanites ain't equal because in the when the time comes they are going to be servants <laughs> they're going to be our servants you know so i just got a few precepts here you know because uh, hey man you got to have confidence in yourself if you believe in this truth this word resonates in your spirit you got to have confidence. The Heavenly Father is dealing with uh, the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. This is Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the, the place where it was said unto them, that place is America, ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. So there was a time where we were at the bottom of society. We're still at the bottom of the society. We looked at as niggas and, and thieves, you know, dirty, you know. Then every uh, and and rightfully so. A lot of these 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 Negroes, I'm gonna call them they niggas. A lot of these niggas, these nigger women, right? You they deserve that title. But this captivity, Esau Edom has has bred that that uh, personality and that character within Jake and they believe that that's the way to live to be that way to be laden in iniquity and just wicked and evil however the heavenly father has a completely different message he has a different character characteristic he wants you to live as as a son of god you see as a um a princess of yasha allah you have you should have standards you have you should have a a, a code a code of conduct, so to speak. You see? So it says, Ye are, uh, and, 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 and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, 
There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. So right now, the Heavenly Father's, the Heavenly Father's always dealt with the men. There's countless of scriptures that tells you that he's dealing with the men. So when it says the, the children of Israel, that word is majority of the time that word is bond, meaning sons. So that's why I said ye are the sons of the living power. So have confidence in yourself, man. We're not equal with these people, man. The Heavenly Father separated us from these people. You see? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For the for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord Yahweh, thy power, hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You see that? So the Heavenly Father said we are holy people unto him. Holy means separate and special. When you have a special... Uh, you know, you call oh yeah, that's my that's you know that person's special to me. That means they have influence. You know, they can affect how you feel. You know, they they might you know yo just seeing them like you you know you you got that one that one thing you got a crush on. You see her, you, you know you get all fuzzy inside, right? So we are special people unto the heavenly Father. That's why I say he we are the apple of his eye. So don't don't. Get it twisted, man. You know, we've been in this society for so long. Right? Jake been in, in, a, in America for too long, man. Jake's, Jake has been in America for far too long. <laughs> now that they, they, they believe that, that you know, because I asked Jake at my job, you know, what's the way out? How do we get out of here? What's the answers? Niggas ain't got the answers, man. Niggas do not have the answers, bro. You ask them like shit. So how do we get out of this predicament as a people? You know, well, we got to come together. How are we going to do that? <laughs> you know? Well, shit, I don't know. Of course you don't know. Because that ain't the answer. The only answer is Yahweh shot, man. Him coming back, delivering us from this captivity. That's the only answer. So Jake in the world, they ain't got the answers. These heathen damn sure ain't got no answers. All the answers is in the scriptures. <laughs> so let's go. I'm just grabbing some milk, man. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. For thou art in holy people until the Yahweh thy power. And the Lord Yahweh hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself. Now let's define peculiar. This is strange, odd, unusual. See that particular special. And now they say that in Deuteronomy 7 and 6, a special people to himself. So a peculiar people, a special people. Above all the nations that are upon the face of like upon the earth. You know, I was about to speak, but I didn't finish reading. So it says above all the nations that are upon the earth. So all of these nations that, that are all, all shit, Japan. Italy, France, America, you name it. South America. Salaki, my damn allergies got to acting up out of nowhere. You see? So the Heavenly Father sees us as a special people unto himself. We're not equal to these people, man. So when you see motherfucking Edomites walking up and down the street or, or in their fancy cars, you know, or oh, these heathen, they got all these different, they got their restaurants and stores and, and businesses. Remember that this is all prophecy. We were prophet. It was prophecy. It was prophesied. It was said before that we will be in a place where we will have no power. We will have to go to our enemies for the one of all things. We are cursed. I'll be thy store. Not bad. Literally, we are a cursed people. So when you see the lowest state that we're in as a nation. You know, it fucks you up. You know, well, damn, maybe we all are equal. But no, we're not. We're not. Because no other nation could handle the position in, in, in um, captivity, slavery, that uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have endured, man. They would have gave up the ghost. <laughs> nation would have just disappeared, man. But it was because the Lord was dealing with us. He said, uh... You know, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are sons of Jacob are not consumed. 
Heavenly Father is dealing with the nation of Israel. And he he's he's right now, he's building up his his that grape, right? He said, With much labor have I made it perfect. You know, he's cultivating that grape. So when the time to, to harvest comes, he's gonna save that grape and he's gonna burn the rest. You see? Because the the other grapes of the cluster are unwanted. They're they're stink berries. See? So have some confidence in yourself, man. Be more confident in yourself. Especially with this word. You know, this is why the scriptures say, cry aloud, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Because this word, it should, give you, it should give you confidence. David had confidence. He was bold in, in the Heavenly Father. Was he all timid? And No. Whenever it was time, man, what are y'all tripping for, man? You not know the Lord is on our side? The power of heaven. You got that's how you gotta come like, man. You gotta come like that. Hey, the the, the God of, of heaven and earth is on our side. And we have access through to him through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. So when you 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 know you gotta come to the Heavenly Father boldly, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahsha, I'm ready to get out. I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> you know, please. That's why um and, and, and I gotta start doing this myself. The apostle said we have to start sending up them curses every day, man. You got to send up the curses every day. Because at this point, hey, man, look, the scriptures say that, that he will shorten the time for the for the elect's sake. Lest no, no, no flesh will be saved. You see? So I think it's one. Yep. Psalms 80, 82, of course. Psalms 82 and 6. Like I said, this is some milk. Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. I, I have said, you are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. You see that? So we're gods. The Heavenly Father is dealing with us. That's why when we read Hosea 1 and 10, it said, what? You are all sons of living power. Yasha Allah, the prince of the power. Verse 7, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. And that's the position that we're in. This is what get, get Jake all messed up. You know, because we can we die like mortal men. But there's about to be a time where we're going to get changed and we will never die again. You see? So this is something real quick through the spirit. I want to give all praises again to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai Shem Rechakadash Shalom.